Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how great software developers come from making mistakes. All right, so I've talked about this before, but I don't do a whole lot of coding anymore. I mean, I'll do a little bit, like to touch something up, or if we have a legacy project that we just need an enhancement on, yeah, then sometimes I'll dig into the code. But for the most part, what I do is requirements gathering, meeting with clients, reviewing code, and quite a bit of testing. In fact, sometimes I do more testing than I, than I think I should be doing, but really everybody should be testing. Like if anything goes out to our clients that is not 100% tested, then it all falls on me. I could say it's the developers, I could say it's the QA teams, I could say whatever, but a lot of times it's on, you know, it's on me eventually because it's my reputation, it's my company, all that kind of stuff. Right, so a lot of times, especially with junior developers, I will have a look at an application which they swear is 100% tested. They swear is, it's got all the automated testing in there, everything is working fine, and then I will find a bug within a few minutes. I mean, it happens so often. And it always goes back to, it was working on my phone. It was working on my phone. We, we tried it on four different phones. It was working. We don't know, understand why it's not working on yours. And, and then we have to track down why I'm having that issue and they're not. But, um, but you got to be really difficult with working with junior developers not to crush their spirits too much. But at the same time, let them know that it's an important issue. Like testing is is it's hugely important It's part of what we do as software developers and it's the non sexy part like writing a bit of code that works really well and it's very elegant that's the sexy part of the job going through and testing it on every single platform and every single permutation that is not sexy um, although doing unit tests that that helps a lot or doing automated testing that is you know, really helpful too anyway so you have to be difficult I mean it's difficult when you're talking to a junior developers because you have to you have to balance a fine line of they need to know why it's so important to be testing but at the same time you don't want to crush their spirits too much right um, every software developer I know or at least me throughout my career we know what it's like when you you hand something over and you're hundred percent sure that it's working you've tested it you know you've been testing it over and over and over again and you watch somebody just use it and then have have an error of some kind or a crash or something's happening there's a hiccup or something and it might not be every single time it happens it might not be easily reproducible but it happens and it's it's crushing especially with something that's like like a stupid error right and i was thinking about it i think good developers come from making lots of mistakes in the past right when you learn software development a lot of times you if it was all easy then you would just be able to do it but a lot of times you're just going through you'll have an error or you'll be struggling with a bit of code for longer than you should have, like hours when it was something so simple like a stray um, curly bracket or something like that. You're struggling with all that kind of stuff because you don't recognize what those errors are. But then as you go on, you get better and better at it. One of the reasons why I was so highly paid as a software developer was not because I was the best developer, although, yeah, but you know, it was mainly the experience. It was the experience which shows I, I know what I'm doing. I've been through all these different projects. And a big part of experience is learning from your mistakes. So when developers, when junior developers try to say, yeah, but nobody's ever going to click on that, are they? Or maybe you're, maybe it's just, maybe something particularly wrong with your phone. Maybe you should buy a new phone, right? You have to say, no, no, we need to test this. We need to find out what it is. And it's always, always difficult. Good developers, the best developers come from lots of failures along the path even even when you're just learning you're always messing things up and you're trying to figure this stuff out and it's frustrating but it all pays off in the end so just some of my thoughts for today let me know what you guys think um uh it's you know i i think as long as a software developer like it, when they have a bug as long as they know as long as they don't get really defensive about it as long as they they know that it's you know it's you know, it's, it's on all sides, you know, and it happens to everybody, then you, generally they get better. So let me know what you guys think. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how great software developers come from making mistakes.